Hello everybody and welcome back to our village here, Stantinople in Foundation. My name is of course Constantine and uh, before we carry on and do anything else, what I want to do is change this marketplace a little bit. I think that this is not really working as I really wanted it to work. So let's do some changes here. Let's see, this one I don't want it. I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, um, I don't want this. Oh, to do, 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 clear. If we want to clear the preview, clear, yes, that's okay. Let's close that. Uh, also, let's try to start. I don't want to destroy all the market though. Hold up, let's pause this for a second and try to think this through a little bit. Uh, so at the moment, I do want to destroy this market. I do want to destroy this market. I want to create a single market in this section here. And I am going to go with only... Let's see, only two of these so that we don't spend too much money since we don't really have much money at the moment. And I'm going to have these facing this intersection right here. Since everybody is coming here, we definitely need these two markets to be close to each other maybe just like that um, I'm also gonna spend a little bit on just some tents why not just try to beautify this place a little bit uh, put a little bit of signs up why not let everybody know this is the goods market good stall I guess this is gonna be the food stall alright just like that and I think I am going to actually have to build up another food stall, though, for fishies. So let's just get one more of these going. Currently, we are good on money, so we should be all good to just create the market just like that. Um, I could start creating some fences as well. Why not? I think we have enough for this. So let's just put up one fence over there. One fence over here. I could put up two more fences over here as well. And I think this should be it. I could maybe create another one of these stalls. Uh, the problem is, currently this costs 200. We don't really have that much money. So let's just construct all of this up. And uh, maybe I am going to add another one of these food stalls later on. But for now, let's just um, start this up, I think. And um, progress from there. Alright, let's play. Here we go, buddy. So hopefully we can get these going really fast so that we can start getting some more money in. Alright, next up. Let's see. What do we have to do? Let's go into the trading here. Uh, to, to do unlock trade route for bread. Ooh, we definitely need that. So let's activate that as well. And let's look into the trading here for a second. Uh, we are definitely getting more bread maybe, I think. Buy until the event reaches value. Sell. So we need to sell this. Uh, let's set this up to 50 maybe. We do have, we are getting quite a lot of bread. So I am looking into getting some money in. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? So we are getting some rock, which we are selling. Uh, wood. We don't really have that much wood, so I don't want to sell the wood. I think that's about it. Currently we are buying tools as well. So let's lower down the volume of the tools to like maybe 30. Something like that. Currently we are doing very bad on, on money here as you can see. It's going down. We are really desperately trying to keep up with getting some money in. But uh, hopefully we can get this going once the, once the markets are constructed. Yep, we are down to zero money. <laughs> this is a freaking struggle, man. I'm telling you. It is definitely a freaking struggle. Alright, anyway, uh, we got that going. Let's see, what else? What else can we do? I mean, this thing is producing bread. Uh, we've also built up some farms up here. Let's see. Did we set this up? We haven't. So let's add some farmers in here. And paint the crops. So we need all this area to be prepared for crops. Just like that. Hopefully that's gonna do its thing. I mean, come on, just play. 
I know that I built up a fence here. I don't know where the fence is though. Why did that disappear? Wooden wall. Nope, I need this to stay up there. Uh, how can I continue this? So we definitely need to build up a fence maybe through here. Just like that. Close that up and close it down there. Alright, so we got this closed up, which is great. Uh, no, I don't want that. Hold up. Why did I do that here? God dang it. There we go. So we move that. Uh, let's see. Is this uh, have some people in, working in? Yeah, so this is going to hopefully start producing some flour. Alright, let's uh, let these guys do their thing. What else? I wish that people would not go through this path here, but I guess um, it's too late to stop it now. I could also create some wooden walls to stop them from walking down the, uh, the path here. So let's just do, I guess, this right here. Let's just do this right here as well. Block this off. Also block that off and go through maybe here just like that. Let's see. Connect these together. Connect this. And also make a connection right here just like that. Alright, hopefully that's gonna stop them from walking on my freaking on my freaking plantations. And connect right here. Alright, look at that. That is perfect. Now let's see, what can we do to the market here? So on this market we need to sell berries. Fish. And... Clothing. Alright, there we go. So hopefully these are gonna do their thing. Uh, now this is where we are gonna have to add... One more market in order to start selling bread as well. But hopefully people are gonna start coming here and uh, buying stuff. I'm really hoping that's gonna be a thing. Alright, look at that. They already started adding in some money. And look at that. Money is definitely coming in. So now that we got some money, let's build up the third food store right in here. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Add the tent. Alright, and also let's beautify this place a little bit. Why not? Add some barrels. Uh, let's also add some barrels right there. Let's put up some benches. I think I'm gonna put a bench right over here. I don't know if my people are gonna use the benches or not, but um, I'm just adding them just to beautify the area a little bit. And I think that should be it. Let's start the construction. Alright, look at that. Look at the freaking money coming in. So we definitely need to figure this out. Now, are we selling any clothing? I do see that we have some clothing in, but I hope we are selling them. I don't even know. Hold up, I saw a mission coming in, so let's try to take care of that. Hmm. I don't like that this dude came up through here, though. We definitely need to change this up, but I think that they are doing this because of this. We kind of block them from passing through here. But uh, let's see. Uh, they need five breads. And I could go with... What do I need? I think I'm going to go with the kingdom. I do want to have a hunter's hut here. So let's go with the kingdom. And deliver the bread. There we go. That is perfect. Also, now that we got so much money coming in... Um... Let's see, let's buy ourselves another area. And I think I want to buy... Where do we have some resources? I think I want to buy this one. We have some berries here that I want, so I'm definitely going to do that. And let's get this going real fast. So, what we want to build here is... A granary hut. Just like that, right here. Uh, set this for extraction, just like that. Let's build up another lumber camp. Right up here. 
Uh, let's create a sawmill right up here. And warehouse, sheep farm. Yeah, I could also start creating a freaking sheep farm around here somewhere. I know that I want a church here, but I also want a sheep farm. So that we can get some more stuff coming in. So let's get one sheep farm. Two sheep farms. And maybe three sheep farms. Right up here, just like that. I am gonna start fencing those up real soon, but for now I am gonna leave it as is. Uh, let's create another windmill right up here. Why not? Uh, just like that. I am gonna put a lot of work into start creating some more things around. And the wheat farm. And I think the wheat farm is gonna go... Hmm... I don't even know where I want another wheat farm. I could place it here, it would be really lovely, but we are out of money right now. So let's get our people, let's let our people do their thing around here. Stop building up some stuff. And, um... Figure something else out. In the meantime, I do want to select this area for extraction. I do want to get rid of all these forests. At least a little bit of it, I guess. Just like that. Get some more wood coming in. And uh, I think we're done there. Alright, let's see. Building complete lumber camp. Two villagers required here, so let's add some villagers in. Right, perfect. So hopefully they will start cutting up some wood. Uh, lacking space for housing. I mean, I did request these guys to start... Hold up, what is this? This is the sawmill. And these guys... I do have some people that should start cutting up some wood here. Although I don't know why they're not doing it. I need you guys to start extracting some wood. Come on, boys. Get up to it. Stop freaking getting rid of these forests. And I'm gonna also have to build up a gathering hut right here as well. So that we can gather some of that stuff. Which is already selected. Uh, villagers are lacking space for housing. I mean, they should not. They do have a lot of space here where they can create some housing. So I don't know why they're not doing that. But uh, anyway, let's see. So this one is done. Let's get this one ready for... Ah, oh, crap. I created a different market here instead of... God dang it. Well, this is a waste. Let's just get rid of it. I wanted to create a different market here. So let's edit. Add another food store right here. And a tent. Beautify the area. Benches. To do maybe another pinch. I don't even know. Right here, let's have people eating close to the statue, I guess, and start construction. Unfortunately, I created this as a different market instead of uh, tying it up with these two markets. I don't know why I did that, but anyway. So let's see. Once this is done, I am going to add bread to sell up here. Hopefully, that's going to be much better. Alright, uh, let's see, what else do we have to do? We definitely need a lot more money in. Uh, stone planks... This one seems to be empty, I don't know why people are not bringing stuff here. Hmm, oh, we don't have any people working here, that's why, maybe. Alright, I got it. Oh, doo -doo -doo. So this thing is producing cloth. This thing is producing clothing, I guess, from cloth. And we do have one guy working here. Uh, we are definitely putting some stuff inside here. Yeah, I think we're doing just fine so far. We definitely have a lot of people working everywhere. Ooh, hold up. We don't have no people assigned here. No soldiers. What? Why is that? And also, I know that we never managed to create some of these things where my people can train. So let's just place three of these, I guess. So that my soldiers can train once we have them, I guess. And um, 
I think that's about it. We can just start construction on these two things, or on, or on these three things, actually, I should say. Right, let's see. Is the market done? It is not. Well, hopefully they uh, finish up with it faster. Because I want to sign some people so that we can start selling some bread. We got quite a lot of bread. I don't know why the fishes are not showing here, though. I really wish I knew how many fish I have. But uh, anyway, so my people seem to be happy. They don't really need that much stuff. I mean, I am trying so hard to give them everything they need. Trying to fulfill all their needs. And uh, look at that. We can now start selling, or maybe we cannot. Maybe this is not finished just yet. Yeah, I think this is not finished. Because we cannot select anything to that. We cannot assign anything to this market. Hmm, which is weird. I mean, it definitely looks finished. I don't know what's happening here. So we got fish, clothing, berries. And this one is waiting for a builder. Alright, so that is not finished. That's why we cannot assign anything to it. Alright, I get it, I get it. Uh, what else? So what should I build? Let's see. Do we have a project that we can start here? Market Rustic Church. So this is the thing that I needed to put all the way on top of this place. I see that there are some houses building up here as well, which is not that bad. But I do want to start building up a Rustic Church. So let's see. Can we do this? Can we do something beautiful here? Uh, actually, before we do this, I think I need to assign... Hold up. Let's get rid of this. Is this ready? Yes, it is, or maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not ready. I think it's waiting for... Oh, there we go. And we're good. So let's assign bread. Perfect. And can we assign someone to work there? Assign a worker. There we go. So we just assigned a worker. Perfect. Hopefully we can now sell some bread and uh, make even more money. Alright, so that is done. Uh, let's see... Let's start... Uh, I know that we have these buildings where we, we need to assign people, but the problem is we don't really have any more people that have no jobs. So fortunately, I cannot do anything about this just yet. I can't find a place to work. Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna promote anybody. We're doing pretty bad on money, so that's not gonna happen. Hold up, let's go into the trading here. Uh, bread. So we can definitely sell some bread. Let's go with 40 because we're also going to have to sell some bread in the markets that we have. Um, let's sell up, I don't know, some woods, like 20 woods. Berries. We do have a few berries. Let's sell some, I guess. Uh, let's sell some of this stuff as well. Why not? Start getting some money in. Let's sell in some cloth, maybe 10. And I guess that's about it. I cannot really sell anything else because we don't really have anything else we can sell. Alright, so hopefully uh, we're going to get some money in. In the meantime, let's start constructing the church, the rustic church. So first of all, we definitely need the core, right? I am going to have the church facing this way. So let's get the core right here. Uh, that is a door. Door C. Mm, this looks much, much better. So let's get that going. Wooden cross. Small tower. Small tower B. I think I do want to have a tower up front here somewhere. I just don't know how to place it. How can I... Oh, crap. Hold up. I don't know if I've done a good job or not. Oh, so let's remove that. Let's remove that. Let's grab the tower again. Okay, so we can definitely put the tower in the front, just as I want it. Uh, let's raise it up a little bit, maybe... Hmm... I mean, is this how a freaking church looks? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know if this thing is supposed to be in the front or in the back. I think it's supposed to be maybe in the back. Yeah... Um, also... I think I may need to extend it. Hmm. 
Maybe to something like a cross with it, something like that. I mean, that would definitely look lovely, but I think I will need to try to center it a little bit. Maybe like that? Let's see. I mean, I could definitely put it... Like, right over here. Let's remove the tower so that I can focus on this a little bit better. And also, let's try to pause the game a little bit because I don't want my people to starve or anything while we're doing this. Uh, that is definitely not a good idea. So let's see. First of all, we need to have this one going, right? This is gonna be the center. I need this bad boy to come, like, right over here. Just like that. Build up another one, another piece. Uh, maybe... Hold up, let's try to align it properly. I think like this. Alright, this is looking good. This is actually looking good. Um, I think I need to move this one in a little bit more. And also try to rotate it a little, a little bit. Maybe just like that. Hopefully that's good. Yeah, this looks pretty fair. Uh, let's get the back as well. A little bit longer. Uh, maybe... Hold up, I think I want to do something like this. Just like that. Extend this one a little bit this way. Should I plop it in just like that in there? I mean, I could also raise it up. But the problem is, this is way too steep for an entrance. I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. So I think I may need to move all of this stuff in the back here. Hmm. I gotta keep in mind that this is also in... On a hill. So things may definitely get affected a little bit. I want this to be... I wish it could be the same height though. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, in this case, let's just move these two... Right here maybe... I mean, this is completely a plus. It's not even a cross anymore. <laughs> Dang it, I don't like it. I definitely do not like it. Unfortunately, there is definitely no terraforming in this game, so... Yeah. Trying to get this one to be perfect is not gonna happen. Uh, let's try to move this one in a little bit, just like that maybe. I mean, this definitely looks like a cross. I think I kind of like this. And I could just move this one out a little bit, just like that. Mm, I don't like that it's popping up. I wish I could have a choice in when it's doing that or not. But uh, I think this is pretty good. Huh. Let's move it to the right a little bit. Alright, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm definitely liking this. Let's get a beautiful door right here then. Uh, currently, we do have enough money to start building this up. So I... Oh, crap. No. Stop moving stuff around, buddy. Without my approval. And could I also get a tower somewhere? I don't even know where I can put a tower. <laughs> hmm. I mean, where should I put a tower in there? In here? Should I... Should I just plop a tower in the center? Crap. Can I even select now? Can I even select that now? I don't think I can anymore. Hold up, hold up. Art, edit. Yeah, I definitely don't have to do this. I am gonna mess it up if I do that again. Uh, no, no, no. Dang it. I need to move it entirely. There we go. Uh, so let's get this to be just like that again. Hopefully, this is gonna look good. We're working so hard on this freaking church. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to make it look really good. Uh, I mean, I can definitely put it right up there. Alright, so hopefully that's gonna get it constructed. Uh, the problem right now is that upfront cost, none, total cost. 
I mean, I do have what I need. Why isn't this getting built up, though? Building parts. Is it because of that freaking cross? Hmm. Nope. Let's... Crap, I didn't want to do that. Uh, hold up, I didn't want to do this one. Yeah, I don't know why I cannot build this, though. Don't I have the proper materials? Hmm. I mean, I should definitely be able to do it. Has one build tower. Oh, so we need a tower, that is for sure. Uh, you cannot build this up without a freaking tower. Can I put the tower in the back then and raise it up? Like that? I mean, that looks horrendous. <laughs> is that even how churches look? I don't even know to tell the truth. Huh. I really don't know. Where are people usually placing these towers? I'm guessing up front. That's where I know that towers are placed. Right? I guess I'm not mistaken. I mean, this looks more like a church now with this freaking tower. Uh, let's try to make it a little bit not that high. Maybe like this. Yeah, this should definitely work. And we can now place the cross straight on top of that. And can we maybe turn this around? Nope. It doesn't like we can turn. Or maybe we can. Hold up. Let's turn it around just like this. It keeps popping in there. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And, um... Yeah, I may just build up some extensions, but at the moment we don't really have enough money to build these extensions. Um, but I guess I could put one. I guess I could plop one right there and another one right here. Just like that. Just a little bit of symmetry, I guess. Make this perfect, because I want this freaking church to look absolutely gorgeous. And I may just place some stuff on the sides later on, but for now, let's just start this construction. And, um... Hopefully, this is going to look really good. I'm also going to start adding in some trees, maybe some uh, grassy uh, walls and stuff like that, just so that we can improve the looks of it. But uh, for now, since we, since we don't got too much money in, uh, I am going to have to do with whatever I have. Alright, so let's see. How's our income? Uh, budget. Here's consumption, trade income. So we're getting 448 from trade income. Village consumption. The villagers are consuming quite a lot here, I see. Maintenance costs, trade expenses, general spending, territory taxes. Hmm. Yeah, we're still struggling here a little bit, trying to figure out how to make more money, that's for sure. And uh, I'm still not 100% sure I know how to do this. Let's see, let's just place some berries in here. Sign a villager, why not? Uh, we have three villagers working here, hopefully they will start putting in some food in there. Uh, also, let's see, what else? Next up, we need to add some shepherds, but unfortunately we don't really have any more people. Wow, they already start working on the church. Holy crap, alright. That is not bad at all. I'm really looking forward to see how this church is going to look once it's done. But uh, currently, we need to focus on trying to figure out how to get more money in. So let's see, the market does have quite a lot of stuff in. Let's edit. So we don't need to edit anything here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's remove some people from... Can I? So we got two guys that are, un are unemployed there. Let's add them to work. I don't know. Let's put one guy right over here. And let's put one dude. Or actually, we do have three dudes working here. Let's add one right here. And let's add, let's add some shepherds. 
Uh, we don't have... Alright, anyway, never mind. We don't need that then. I'm definitely gonna leave this forest right here next to the freaking church because it looks lovely. It looks like it's gonna be part of the church design. Alright. So why are we not making any money? I would love it if you guys could let me know what I can do best here because I'm really struggling right now trying to figure out how I can make some more money. Uh, let's see. Let's try to sell some more wood, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully that's going to bring in some more money. Uh, doo -doo -doo. General. So I see that we are definitely selling some fishies. Zero had decided to join our village. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, people don't really join the village anymore. Just don't know what to do about that. I guess I could assign some more residential areas in here. But it doesn't look like people want to live here anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's extract some forest from here. Let's get all that extracted. So that hopefully my people can start moving in here in this area. And then I am just gonna plop up some trees myself once that is done. Oh, let's remove this and instead get rid of those trees. Leave a space there. Alright, so hopefully we can get these trees removed faster. So what else? Oh, okay, so I see that they have decided to build these things up. Sign a villager. Hmm. The thing is, I want to sign a soldier in here, but we don't really... We're not really getting extra people coming in. And I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Alright. So isn't this area signed for residential already? Yes, it is. But for some reason, people are not moving in. Oh my god, look at the freaking look at the freaking church. It's really taking shape. I am loving this. They're doing a great job about it. Do not mind it at all. Uh, once again, we don't really have new villagers coming in. Uh, doo -doo -doo, what else? Uh, let's speed up things a little bit here. What a relief. Behold, this bad weather is now behind us. Perfect. The bad weather is away, so hopefully we can now produce some more stuff. Get some more sales in. I don't know. I believe that that may have been the cause of me doing so badly. Not being able to produce enough stuff. But um, I don't know. Let's just see. Alright, so we got this going. Fortunately, we cannot assign anybody there to work. We definitely need some more people coming in, though. Hmm. What area could I assign for residential? I mean, I could definitely put this area assigned as residential, but do I even want that? I don't even know. This might be a good area for residential, actually. You know what? Let's just assign this for residential. Oh, look at this. Area side of building. They definitely love this area. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, hopefully that's going to be perfect for them to leave in here. Although we have a little bit of cutting woods here and stuff like that, making noise that they may not like. But uh, hopefully that's going to be behind us. Hopefully they're going to be able to ignore that and uh, start creating some lovely, lovely houses up here. So that we can get some more people in the village. Alright, so let's see. I could also select this as residential and hope that some people will move in. I don't know. Let's just do that. Hopefully they can go through the woods. Let's have them go through here as well. Why not? And see uh, whoever is going to join. I do need a lot more people to start joining in. Alright, let's let that do its thing. And uh, let's inspect the church a little bit more. Look at that. This is really lovely. 
they are moving quite fast in building this church up. I was not expecting this, that's for sure. I think I could also start adding in some... I don't know, something beautiful. Let's see, add parts. Would an extension be? I could also add some extensions just like that on the sides. Hold up. Let's move up to this side as well. Add some more extensions on this side, just like that. Alright, that's definitely gonna make the church look more and more beautiful. Start construction of those. And also, let's see how we can beautify this area. So, if I go into right here, direct decorative bushes. Hmm. That is definitely something I want to add. Some more bushes right here. Could I also plant some trees? I don't really think I can. At least not yet. Wooden bridge, rustic church. Yeah, I definitely cannot build up uh, trees. Wheat farm, tiller, weaver hut, sheep farm, warehouse, stone, ma stone mason. Yeah, I do not see any uh, possibility of creating trees. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to do that later on, I guess. But for now, what I'm going to do is create some hedges. Just try to keep up, keep people away from stepping on certain areas. And, um... Making my church look bad. Let's see, can we block this area off? I don't know, maybe through here? Just like that, stop them from walking behind it. Alright, let's connect you here. Just like that. Here, uh, let's also continue through right here, just like that. I mean, I definitely don't like what I've done here. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> this is really ugly, really, really freaking ugly. Hopefully, the people are gonna go to the church straight through here instead of walking around it and going where I don't want them to go. All right, so I think I got one guy joining in. So let's get this guy to be a shepherd and start spawning in some sheep. There we go. That is lovely. Alright, that is perfect. Uh, currently we're definitely losing money. I think I heard the horse. So if this guy is coming to get us some news, maybe a new quest. I definitely want to make my way to the Lord's Manor. Alright buddy, give me something new. Give me something good here. So we need to deliver five bread again. Let's give this to... The clergy. Why not? Unfortunately, we don't have five bread at the moment, so I cannot sit or... What? Hold up. What do you mean I have no... What do you mean I don't have five bread? Hmm... I'm pretty sure I had five bread. I mean, it does show up here that I have enough bread. Maybe I don't have enough in the um, granaries. Hold up, hold up. Oh yeah, so we don't have enough bread in the granary. Hmm. Maybe that's the cause. So we need to wait for five bread to be delivered to one of the granaries before we can do anything about it. Uh, you know what? Let's put some bread in here as well. Hopefully we can do that. Right, the church has noticed your dedication to God and thus holds you in high regard. God is why we are all here. Hmm, and we got some extra points for that. Alright, so I'm guessing the church is done. So let's check it out. Look at this freaking thing and everybody's going to the church. Wow, this is really cool. You know what, before we do anything, let's just end this up here. Just like that, so that nobody passes through there. Extend this a little bit, and also... Alright, that is perfect. That is really good. Uh, let's also try to move this... Just like that. Make sure our people are going straight through the entrance. Nothing else. Alright, so uh, look at that. We actually have a freaking church. Which is looking really lovely. I am loving this. Look at this thing. This is so freaking beautiful. <laughs> Looks so good. 
so, so good. And I'm also loving that we got some sheep around here, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's spawn in some sheep in there. And let's spawn some sheep in here. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Let's see, how is the, um, the town looking from up here? I mean, it should definitely look good. It should definitely look good. Look at this! Our freaking church is lovely. I wish I could zoom in a little bit less than what I'm doing right now. There we go, this is beautiful. And look at that, we're actually starting to call for the people to come at the church. <laughs> this is great, and let's do this mission here. Perfect, we got ourselves some more gold. Uh, because we delivered the food, or the bread I should say. But once again, the problem is we're losing a lot of money. Income is very, very low at right now, and I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to get some more money coming in. Uh, let's see, can we unlock some more stuff in here maybe? Monk. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely cannot... Uh, oh, never mind, we can uh, unlock this, the Rustic Church Edition parts. Wow, alright. So what is that all about? Can we add something more to the church? Make this uh, even better? Oh, stone graves! No way! Seriously? I mean, we could definitely add some stone graves in here since we made this area. This looks like a freaking cemetery. <laughs> which is really great. I mean, we're adding like two gold. We're spending two gold to build these up, but um, this is look. This is gonna look great. And I think they are not gonna be able to come in here. I'm stuck while going to bury part. What? What do you mean they're stuck while going here? Why are they stuck? Hmm. Stuck while going to the, that thing. I don't even understand where people are getting stuck though. Is it because of the fencing? Hold up. Let's just move this fence around here a little bit. Hopefully we can get some people unstuck here. I'm guessing they were getting stuck because of that fence, maybe? Hopefully we got that uh, fixed up. And also... Oh, they already built up these things, so that is great. I think they managed to get inside there somehow. Uh, we're still losing a lot of money here, and I don't know what to do in order to get more money. This is really, really frustrating, though. Hmm. Uh, let's get more people in here, though. So we got that. Let's get more people in here, so that they, they can start getting more berries. Yeah, I don't know why we're losing so much money. The reserve of the berries is just gone. Very sold this week. 22 for 198 gold. Um, I don't really see us selling any clothing though. Which I don't understand why. Why aren't we even selling clothing? People are not buying it. I don't know why. Can we then sell it on the trades here? Let's see. So we got this that we can sell, which isn't really working. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's really weird. Unfortunately, keep, people keep getting stuck somewhere. I think it's right here. And here as well. I don't know why, though. They should be able to simply go here. Adding bread, berries in there. So we got two houses that got constructed up there. Uh, can we add some soldier in here now that we have some people coming in? Not really. Hmm. Why not? Alright, anyway. I think that this uh, construction here should be removed. This one as well. Let's get rid of these two. 
Uh, instead, let's add... We cannot add nobody there. Uh, this thing should start creating some more flower. Yeah, I think I need to build up the... Lumber camp right in here instead. And the sawmill right up here next to it. Hopefully they will be able to start taking care of the woods, the forest inside there. Alright, so what is happening here? Very, very rustic church. I'm stuck while going to the rustic church. So apparently um, I'm getting quite a few notifications for the rustic church. I don't know what's happening there. It's probably because I built up this uh, this fencing here, that's for sure. Probably people want to go to the... Um, to visit their loved ones, I know. I don't know. So let's just remove these areas so that people can access the... The cemetery, I guess. And hopefully these messages are gonna go away. Stuck while going to the market. I mean, you should not be stuck because there's definitely a lot of access to going here. I don't know why you guys are getting stuck in there. Nothing sold this week, so I have no idea why we're not selling any clothing. This is so weird. Why isn't this working? Alright, well, you know what guys? Since uh, we've built up this beautiful, beautiful church here on the top of the freaking hill, along with the shepherds here, this is really looking lovely and has definitely changed up the face of the town a little bit. Um, I don't know, I don't know if we're losing money by building this or not, but it definitely feels like we're losing a lot of money. And I need to figure out a way to start making more money. I really don't know what to do here. But uh, you know what guys, some tips and tricks will be really useful from you if, uh, if you can share them in the comments. Alright, anyway, if you are enjoying this and you want to see more foundation, make sure to leave a like down below and we can continue the series. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games, puzzle games, and even city builder games. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!